Elon Musk has reportedly embarrassed Blue Origins by announcing SpaceX's new groundbreaking suit. And the aftermath is more interesting than ever. Musk, the CEO and founder of SpaceX, has been behind inventive breakthroughs in the world of space and technology. And with each new move the company makes, its direct competitors, such as Blue Origin, are immediately compared to the company. But the question is, is SpaceX's new spacesuit as revolutionary as it sounds? Let's find out that and much more in this video. SpaceX is only a few months away from celebrating its 20th anniversary since its inception in 2002. And it won't be wrong to say that the company is in a better position than ever going into the new year. The California-based firm increased its capabilities in domains ranging from broadband communications to human launches in 2021. However, the company's most recent cause of attention has been its spacesuits, which seem to pique the curiosity of millions of space enthusiasts. Before SpaceX's groundbreaking spacesuits are discussed, it's important to take into account one point. SpaceX, or Elon Musk, has remained subtle in discussing the details regarding these suits on any forum. However, SpaceX did offer to manufacture spacesuits for the country's national space agency, NASA. And that alone goes a long way in showing that SpaceX is cooking something up. It wasn't too long ago that Elon Musk formally offered SpaceX's services to assist NASA in making its next-generation spacesuits. This came after a watchdog report was released, which revealed that the National Space Agency's current program for spacesuits was much behind schedule and was going to cost them more than $1 billion. While the report exposed a number of discrepancies in NASA's internal plans, the situation completely turned around when Musk offered to do the job for NASA. At this point, the viewpoint immediately shifted towards SpaceX, and the curiosity continued to grow as far as SpaceX's new venture was concerned in relation to new spacesuits. As usual, Musk had announced to make the spacesuits for NASA in no formal announcement, but through his Twitter handle. Michael Sheets, a space reporter for CNBC, had made a tweet highlighting documents that reflected a terrible scenario for NASA. With $420 million spent and another $625 expected, suits won't be ready for flight until April 2025 at the earliest, reported Sheets, while quoting the watchdog's official report in this regard. As the tweet continued to gain traction, Elon Musk decided to step in and offered NASA to do the job for them. SpaceX could do it if need be, Musk replied to the reporter's tweet and wrote that in response. His words immediately began attracting thousands of likes on Twitter, but that also gave birth to some more important questions. Does SpaceX's new spacesuit technology really beat NASA by miles as it claims to? And what exactly is SpaceX doing to get such a job accomplished better than NASA? Musk's business designed and manufactured flight suits for astronauts who will travel to space in SpaceX's Crew Dragon spaceship. The flight suits are primarily intended to protect astronauts in the event of a spaceship fire or cabin depressurization. Given the requirement to exist outside of a spaceship in the harsh environment of space, developing spacesuits would be a more complicated and difficult task. The SpaceX spacesuits are a sleek, single-piece white design that is far less bulky than the huge space shuttle launch suits and is also known as the Advanced Crew Escape Suit, or ACES. The new SpaceX spacesuit design was so tiny that following its unveiling in 2018, the company's founder Elon Musk had to reaffirm his seemingly worried Instagram followers that were showing concerns regarding its practicability. It definitely works. You can just jump in a vacuum chamber with it, and it's fine. The functionality and effectiveness of this suit can perhaps be best judged by those who have used them. Astronauts who flew on the first crewed test mission on SpaceX's Crew Dragon have also noted distinctions between the SpaceX suit and other spacesuits they've worn in previous years. These distinctions, as recounted by the astronauts, go a long way toward explaining how SpaceX outperformed its competitors. Despite the fact that the SpaceX suit is newer, it will be subjected to the same pre-flight inspections as the pumpkin suit and the Sokol suit. It's similar in that they check the suit for leaks, they check the comm system, and they just want to make sure everything is good to go before you head out to the pad, said Hurley, who was one of the astronauts on board the flight. After proving their value in space, two of these SpaceX spacesuits were then utilized by people. One was used on the dummy Ripley that went aboard the uncrewed SpaceX Crew Dragon Demo-1 test trip to the ISS in 2019, while another was used on the Tesla driving dummy that launched on a Falcon Heavy rocket in 2018. It's also possible that the spacesuit was designed for a movie set because the suit's designer is Jose Fernandez, 
a famed Hollywood costume designer who has worked on blockbusters including Wonder Woman, Batman vs Superman, and Captain America Civil War. SpaceX has kept some design features of its spacesuits private, but it has emphasized the suits are meant to be symbiotic with the large computer panels that astronauts will use to monitor Dragon systems and navigate to the International Space Station. Each suit is custom-made for the astronaut, according to NASA. SpaceX's spacesuit was described in a much more detailed manner by NASA itself, who had given the suits a 5-star rating just last year. The suits are designed to be functional, lightweight, and to offer protection from potential depressurization, NASA had commented. The suit's depressurization defense would be comparable to the ACES suit, which possessed an emergency breathing system and the capacity to fully pressurize if the cabin lost oxygen unexpectedly. Musk's idea had only come in as a reaction to a report by NASA's Inspector General. The report was regarding the work being done to construct a new line of extravehicular mobility units, often known as spacesuits. According to the report, astronauts on board the International Space Station use spacesuits developed 45 years ago for the Space Shuttle program. The report also stated that the spacesuits had been refurbished and partially modified to continue operating throughout the decades. A simple comparison to the costs incurred by SpaceX showed that NASA may have been overspending by a lot in this regard. This is exactly why Musk made the offer to NASA. The agency has started three different spacesuit programs since 2007 and has spent $420.1 million on development since then. Additionally, the report said NASA plans to invest approximately $625.2 more on development, testing, and qualification to complete a suit for a demonstration on the ISS and two suits for the crewed mission to the moon for a total cost of over $1 billion through to 2025. NASA had previously stated in an official capacity that their new spacesuits would be ready by March 2023. However, as that goal appeared impossible within current circumstances, a new deadline was given. The spacesuits will not be ready for flight until April 2025 at the earliest, the report had clearly stated. However, after securing a $2.9 billion contract to utilize its Starship rocket to send people to the moon's surface, SpaceX became one of the crucial components of Artemis earlier this year. And following that, Musk declared the 2024 deadline actually doable. The spacesuits, as described before, are made up of a variety of different components, which are provided by 27 different businesses. That's another point that Musk also highlighted, saying in a tweet that it seems like too many cooks in the kitchen. SpaceX did not exactly respond when CNBC requested an official comment from the company. A question was posed on whether the company has actually started working on its own spacesuits, but no response was given. While the company hasn't made its spacesuit ambitions public, it is one of roughly 50 businesses that have indicated an interest in NASA's initiative to buy privately designed spacesuits and spacewalk services. However, it appears clear enough that SpaceX places more confidence in its ability to deliver spacesuits for them as well as NASA compared to the National Agency's own plans. What are your thoughts regarding SpaceX's progress in the upcoming revolutionary spacesuits? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below.